Mike Briggs is our cattle market analyst this week. USDA data released Monday confirms Nebraska led the country in commercial cattle slaughter in 2014. This state produced nearly 9.4 billion pounds of beef in that category. Kansas accounted for the second highest total with 8.3 billion pounds of meat. Nebraska also continues to lead the nation in cattle on feed. April 1st's inventory was a percent higher than last month and 2% above last year. We talked with Mike Wednesday morning and began by asking about cattle prices approaching the end of April. We've got kind of an interesting situation going. You've got both sides. You've got the bulls and the bears really bashing it out right now. You know, that same thing, the market falters a little bit and the funds just want to pound on it and beat it up. And yet the cash market brings it right back because the because the cash market's really strong. But we've got a little bit of a situation here where demand is not that good. So you've got the bears saying, well, we've priced ourselves out. You know, one pound too much is one pound too many. This thing's gonna break. And you got people like me standing over here going, yeah, but there's no cattle out here. There are no fat cattle. Now, if you looked at some of the stuff in the cattle on feed report, there was, you'll see there's not, a, the marketing intentions for May and June are less than last year. And last year was a short year. So in my mind, this thing's gonna get interesting because you're coming right into the beef wheelhouse, coming into spring, Mother's Day, Memorial Day, all this good beef demand, and you don't have any cattle. And I think I think this thing's got another chance to pop. Why do you think that the this grilling season and the holidays could bring so much consumer demand for beef? I think there's a lot of pent-up demand in the East Coast. They've had a horrible winter a horrible spring. In fact, I think, believe this week is some of the first nice weather they've had. I think you've got a lot of pent up demand there and everybody's got to remember, most of the people live east of the Mississippi River and it's been really crappy there. And I think there's gonna be a bunch of beef demand come in here that maybe is unexpected or unseen. Now, I don't have any data to back that up. That's just me running my mouth. But I, I just truly believe that's what it's gonna be. And I think we're gonna have a chance where demand Good demand coincides with not very many fat cattle. Explain the uh, low numbers in, uh, of slaughter numbers that we're seeing. Well, that's, that's interesting, and, and that's, one, that's some of the ammunition the bears are using. We're harvesting between 40 and 50,000 less cattle a week. You would think the price would just be astronomically higher, but the problem is demand's not really there. And I believe that once again, it's because of the bad weather in the East. I really do. Well, that and you've got an exchange rate that's not working in the favor of exports. So exports not very good. Now, I think once you see the dollar stabilize or maybe the other currencies kind of catch up a little bit, I think you'll see some more export demand because the thing that people are afraid of when the dollar was just on that steep, steep increase, that chased a lot of people away. But if it at least stabilizes or maybe backs up and retraces a little bit, I think you'll see some export demand. So I think there's a lot of things in our favor, but then I'm bullish here right now. Over the last few months, the cooler months, have you still been throwing a lot of weight on these cattle? You know, that's a great question. Fe January and February really hurt these cattle. Our, our outweights are down quite a bit because we those cattle struggled because it was so cold and wet. And that's weight that you you don't get back. The weight they didn't gain in that time period, there's no compensatory gain. So I think you're gonna see a decrease in carcass weights in certain areas of the country because the winter was so tough. We've seen a substantial dis decrease in carcass weights, but you've, you've seen that so you don't have the pounds that you've had and the numbers of cattle just aren't there. That being said, uh, this feedlot looks pretty full. Is that accurate? This feed yard is pretty full and it's a little different than usual because usually you have the mass exodus of calves going out in April and May. The difference is this year, last fall, we didn't buy a lot of calves because the demand for them was so big because they had rain down south, so they had wheat. So you had a lot of guys putting calves on wheat. We had a big corn crop. You had a lot of backgrounders decide to background calves. So that pulled a lot of cattle out of the market that would be going now. Now, conversely, now those cattle are coming off and going into feed yards now, which is why our feed yard is fuller. My concern is we've kind of bunched those cattle up and I'm afraid we're gonna bunch up our marketings in August and September, which isn't the most wonderful time for beef demand anyway. We'll see what happens, but the, the deferreds kind of fear, scare me a little bit, but I think right now, I think is, I really think it's gonna be right in our wheelhouse, I really do.